Well, good morning everybody here in the shop. It's Sunday evening and uh, time to go back to work. Didn't film too much over the weekend, I just enjoyed the weekend. We had my mother-in-law come down and Britt's aunt and uncle came down to visit us and Theo for a little bit. And uh, we also went to go visit her dad and stepmom. We had a good barbecue there. Got some footage of this barbecue setup that he's got. He's got this wonderful, just amazing smoker. We had ribs and steak, oh, so good. And he smokes the ribs for hours and hours and hours, right? And then we had these steaks that were marinating for the last 24 hours. And uh, we decided to, well, we were gonna cook them at our house and then we got invited there. We're like, well, let's just take the steaks over there. We cooked them over there as well. So we had steaks and ribs, but uh, filmed a few highlights from there. And other than that, not too much from this weekend. I got home, well, Thursday night, Friday, early morning. It was 2.30 in the morning when I got back here to the shop. So I just slept in the truck and I got up at seven and went home from here. And I just didn't want to wake up the whole house in the middle of the night. And so I had Friday at home and Saturday. And today when I'm filming this, this, this clip is on Sunday. Uh, the barbecue was on Saturday, but yesterday. So uh, it's time for me to get ready to get going again. We gotta go do another rounder, Kenora to Brainerd and Minneapolis back home. So I'll be doing a little loop in the next couple of days. I've gotta be at the gate in Kenora tomorrow, 7 a.m. So I'm gonna get there tonight yet. I've gotta to go to our yard, pick up an empty 53 foot step deck and hook onto that and head over there because I'm gonna sleep over there right at the gate. Then I'm right there first thing in the morning. But I need to get going. So here's a few highlights from my weekend. And then once we're done with that, I'll meet you back here at Old Blue. We gotta get our stuff in here and get going. Oh, there's the good stuff right there. That's what dreams are made of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're getting there. So this is a Louisiana Grills, that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. That's nice. So we're smoking the ribs. How long have you had them on there already? Uh, Four hours. Four hours? Four hours, yeah. Oh, it'd be so good. Four hours and it'll take us five minutes to eat them. Oh, less than that. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could put the smell through the camera. smell of vision mm. <laughs> Whoever does that will be a billionaire. No kidding. We've got this one going here too. Okay, we... now we're going to start cooking these guys. So we got the ribs on here. And Britt and I... We brought a few steaks that we've been marinating for the past day or so. Oh yeah. Look at that. This is my father-in-law, Jerry, those of you who don't know. Hi. Also drives with us. It's home for the weekend, heading out on Monday, eh? Yes, sir. Oh yeah. That is such a nice sound. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Man. That's gonna be good. So it's a warm enough day that I don't have to be wearing any sweater. I'm out here in a t shirt. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful out here. That's Britt's stepmom, Cynthia. Are you new people? The rest of you know who they are. I think so. Well, we're slowly getting rid of all the all the snow. Now we just need the ground to thaw so that we can get rid of the water too. Mm -hmm. Milo, you behaving? These guys are hoping for a little bite of steak, I think. That's Milo. And that's Sunny. Oh yeah, we're getting here. There's some tender no resistance when you're poking them. Gonna fall off the bone. It's supposed to have a little bit of bite, but yeah, I'm okay either way. <laughs> I don't care. Regardless, I'm gonna eat them. Yep. You excited? I'm the marinator. 
No fetch. Ready? <laughs> He's not going for it. No. Usually I can wing it out there and he'll, uh, he catches it no. often and often. Not. <laughs> you don't want to get your paws muddy, right? That's why I'm staying on the deck too. electronics booted up so that my computer in there would boot up. It takes a few minutes, so then I don't have to wait for that later. It was really hard for me to leave home today. I mean, it's always hard leaving the family at home, but today it was especially difficult. I don't know why exactly it was different this time. Maybe because the weather's nicer and I'd love to be there spending time with him, but, uh, or, you know, our kid's getting, getting bigger and bigger. He's, he's starting to try to say words. He hasn't quite got it yet, but, you know, he's got the basics like ma 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 and dad. Pretty much how he says it, dad. I don't know if he knows what he's saying yet because he can't say it on command, but he, every once in a while it pops out when he's coming towards me. I'm like, <gasps> I get all excited. He's starting to almost walk on his own. I think he could walk on his own already. I mean, anyways, uh, I, I get distracted when I start talking about him. <laughs> yeah, this is some of the reality of trucking. You know, it's sometimes are harder than others. Every time is difficult. But I'm gonna do the pre-trip on my truck here and uh, sort of distract myself with all of this, get my mind off of it because uh, I can't change the fact that I've got to go to work. We need a house to live in and we need groceries. So it is a good thing that I really enjoy my job. I think that helps a lot because it takes my mind off of, you know, how hard it is to be away from home. I do enjoy doing what I do. Um, maybe that's just why I work so hard. When I'm away from home, I'm just go, 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 go. Just gotta keep my mind busy. I don't like to sit and then you know, let my thoughts trail off, you know. So let's let's get this pre-trip done. Looks like this thing needs a wash too. We're almost past the season where everything constantly needs a wash. We are just about there. A little bit more snow melt and then they just gotta clean up the streets of all the sand and salt from the winter time. And then we'll be on our way towards a few months of hopefully having some clean vehicles most of the time. We'll see what happens. Well, I got the pickup back in here now. Old Blue's all warmed up, ready to go. Let's hit the road. The sky stays light. Oh, it makes me so happy to be in this time of year, finally. So we got Old Blue here, and I'm gonna take this trailer right here 122D. You are coming with me. We're gonna have fun. You're gonna like it.
Almost ready to go. Well, <laughs> almost hooked up anyway. Good and tight. Okay, I'm gonna roll up the gear, do the pre-trip, and we'll be out of here. Back to work. Okay guys, come a little closer. Come a little closer, we're friends. Don't be scared, I don't bite. So we're all hooked up, we're ready to go. This trailer's ready to go, my truck's ready to go. It's already late and the sun's gone down so it'll be very hard to get any road footage or scenery footage on the way there today. So we'll see what we can do on the way there. Won't be too much, but it's a two hour drive. But I'll definitely talk to you when we get there. So let's get that gate open. Let's get this horse on the highway. Let's get it galloping. And here we sit in the silence. Pretty quiet night out here. Waiting to get loaded in the morning. 7 a.m. that gate's gonna open. Probably quarter to seven. I'm gonna put my nose right up to it. <laughs> I'm ready. So if we get unloaded, or pardon me, reloaded, or loaded, first thing in the morning, I'm, I'm tired already. You know, we'll get unloaded tomorrow afternoon down in Brainerd, run down to Minneapolis, and then I'll have an appointment for the following day to get reloaded, hopefully in the morning. That'll be Tuesday morning. That delivers back to Winnipeg uh, Wednesday morning. I'll probably come come back to the yard, be ready for a reload Wednesday afternoon. We'll see what happens. See what happens. But we're going to get back into the swing of things here. First day back out after being home. It was kind of like a long weekend for me because I had, uh, like I was telling you, I had all day Friday, all day Saturday, and pretty much all day Sunday too. Though I did leave around supper time on Sunday. So... A little bit of a long weekend for me, and I felt good. I felt good, but maybe that's why it was harder to leave home too. You spend more time at home, it's it's harder to leave, right? <laughs> but we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> it's it's not just it's not that I'm special. Everyone else feels the same way when they have to leave and go to work. Imagine our military members, right? Overseas, wherever they are around the world, being deployed for what six months at a time, maybe longer. You know, when they leave home, <laughs> there's a chance they might not come home. Of course, there's a chance for truckers as well. But at least I'm not being shot at. I've never been shot at. Uh, a lot of respect goes out to those military families out there, those people overseas serving in our country, in our neighbor's country, the United States, all of our allies around the world. And especially those wives back at home and the kids back at home waiting for daddy to come home. It uh, must be a whole different feeling. So it's not just truckers that have to leave home to make a living. There's also, you know, people who work in the air flight industry. There's people who work on big ships that travel around the world that go, go away from home for weeks at a time. We got to do what we got to do, right? We got to put food on the table. And we got to put a roof over our heads for our families. So again, this all comes down to working hard. And that's why I'm out here, even when it's hard and hard to leave home. Just trying to get ahead. Just like you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And tomorrow will be a day of trucking. I'll see you then. Stay safe out there and drive safe.